Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alison, the online piano and online violin tutor. So I am coming at you today with a very quick and simple video on three easy ways to improve your piano playing. Tip number one is time, practice and organisation. So make sure you have all those three things. Make sure you have time to practice and make sure you have the organization. And what I mean by that is make sure you know what you're going to practice. So make sure you have in mind the types of pieces that you're gonna be playing. Um, are you gonna be doing any warm up exercises like scales, arpeggios? Um, what kind of scales and arpeggios, C major, D major, B flat major, that kind of thing. So you can head in straight away specifically to practice what it is that you wanna practice. So if you split up your time relevantly and accordingly, then you're not gonna be sitting down, wasting time on the piano, sitting there twiddling your thumbs, thinking, oh, what should I play next? And, you know, it's just a lot of wasted time and effort, especially if you know what it is that you wanna practice and you want to get particularly good at something. This is gonna help you focus and concentrate more and just get rid of all of that time wasted in a practice session. If you're sitting down and practicing for an hour, for example, think about how much time in that hour you actually spent getting down to business and actually practicing and how much of that time you spent kind of looking around the room or figuring out what it is you wanted to practice next. Okay, tip number two, improve your sight reading skills. So the better you are at sight reading, the faster and more efficient you are going to be at picking up pieces of music. The worse you are at sight reading, it is gonna take you a hundred times longer to learn a piece of music. I've got a separate video on how to sight reading, how to improve your sight read, and basically how to get better on sight reading. So I'll have that linked underneath this video if you wanna go and check that out first before, before you head on to this tip. But the better you are at sight reading, the more efficiently you're gonna be at picking up pieces of music. The quicker and more efficiently you can pick up pieces of music, the faster you can learn them without getting frustrated, losing focus, getting really irritated with the fact that you know you should be able to play it because you are of that certain standard, but you're just not picking it up efficiently enough because your sight reading skills are so poor. There is no point being a very, very good player up here and yet your sight reading levels are down here. You want your sight reading levels to match the current level you are as a player or even better. And I have heard and I have known pianists to be very, very good players, but their sight reading is absolutely beyond levels of shocking. My sight reading isn't the best, I don't really do so much of it these days, but my sight reading is actually pretty good. And the one thing about sight reading is that you can improve very, very quickly. So what I would recommend is head on to that video, which I'll have linked underneath here, on how to actually get better and how to do sight reading. And lastly, the third tip on how to improve your piano playing is to make sure you're using the correct fingering on the piano. Doing whatever you want, whenever you want, just isn't gonna cut it on the piano because you're gonna, you're, you're gonna stumble across the notes, you're gonna come unstuck in a lot of places, you're not gonna be able to play the piece very well, your fingers are just gonna be all over the show, tripping up each other. So the better you are at putting your fingers in the right place at the right time on the right notes on the piano, the better your playing will be. And that will improve your playing no end. And I'm talking about you guys that are beginners. I know it is a lot of effort when you're learning a piece of music to actually look at the finger numbers that you see on, on the sheet. But trust me guys, it's if it's something that you do when you first learn a piece of music, so for example, you've sight read the music, you've done that once or twice, and now you wanna get down to learning this new piece of music. As you're going along and you're learning, just look at the finger numbers and put whatever finger it says on the note. A lot of students do not do this and I'm constantly having to pick them up for it because you just get a bit brain lazy. It's hard enough trying to look at the notes and figure them out, you know, especially if you're learning and you're new to the piano, but then having to go back and put in the correct fingers at the correct place on the correct notes afterwards just seems like you're having to do the whole thing all over again. So trust me, if you can get that down right from the start, it won't be any more extra effort. Your brain won't won't be exhausted any more than it already is just by having an extra look at the, the note and then looking to see what finger number is above it and then putting that down on the piano, then you would be just keep completely missing it out at all. So make sure you put in the right fingering at the right time and trust me, your piano playing will improve 
no end. Have you ever heard someone else play the piece of music that you're learning at the moment and you can't work out why does their sound so so nice and mine just sounds so so disjointed and, and it doesn't flow very well and it's not very smooth. Well, I can probably bet you the chances are that they're putting their, their fingers in the right place at the right time on the right notes and you are not. And the reason why yours is so disjointed is because you're doing awkward crossings and awkward turnings that are interrupting the flow of the music. So if you can sort that out, then your, your playing will be taken to a whole other level. The one thing you can do to remedy this is to have a go at some Hannon exercises, um, some Zerny exercises. You can easily find those books readily available on the internet. And just good old-fashioned scales, arpeggios, broken chords. Every piece of music is made up of scales, arpeggios and broken chords. So if you can get those down, you can play pretty much any piece of music that you like because when you come across a scale passage in a piece of music, you will be using the same fingering that you use to play the actual scale in the exercise in the book or you know what, what whatever it is whether you're just doing scales on their own or in the book so yeah I hope you enjoyed this uh, this really quick and easy video if you would like to see a little bit more of this type of video so if you'd like me to go more a little bit more into depth perhaps or maybe you'd like me to do another video on how to improve your piano playing. There are literally tons of things that you can do to improve your piano playing. So if you want me to make another video on this, either going into a little bit more depth than I have today or you know, uh, another three, three more simple ideas to improve your piano playing, for example, let me know in the comment section underneath this video and um, yeah, I'll, I'll make it happen for you. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.